hello friends welcome to my youtube channel it planet today in this video we are going to see the exercise solution of class fifth chapter number fifth excel introduction so let's start question number a tick the correct answer excel is a spreadsheet program that organizes data in rows and columns the excel is answer the number of rows in a single worksheet is 10,48,576. So the number of rows in single worksheet are 10,48,576. Title bar shows the name of the open workbook file. So the title bar is the answer. By default, Excel workbooks are saved with .xlsx file extension. The Excel workbook contains sheets called workbook. So the next B question is write T for true and F for false statement. Let's see first statement. By default workbook contains two worksheets in Excel 2016. So this statement is false statement. Second statement is mouse pointer is displayed as a block plus sign whenever it is located in a cell and this statement is true when we are using microsoft excel in microsoft excel you will not see the cursor like this arrow there you can see cursor like plus sign block plus sign third statement is formula bar shows the formula we are using in last selected cell and this statement is false statement next statement is excel provides access to three different views or the worksheet and this statement is true statement next statement is Excel automatically left aligns the text data and right aligns the number in a cell and this statement is true statement. I think this third statement should be true. Formula bar shows the formula we are using in the last selected cell. This should be true. So next statement, fill in the blanks. The intersection of column and row is called cell. The answer is cell. There are 16,384 columns and 10,48,576 rows in a single worksheet. The cell reference of an active cell is displayed in the name box. Formula bar is used to enter and edit formulas and perform calculations on worksheet data. And last sentence, a cell in a worksheet has a unique address called cell reference. Next question is define the following in that first we have to define grid lines. The horizontal and vertical lines representing the rows and columns on the worksheet are called grid lines mouse pointer the mouse pointer is displayed as a block plus sign whenever it is located in a cell on the worksheet another common shape of the mouse pointer is the block arrow the mouse pointer turns into a block arrow whenever we move it outside the worksheet next question differentiate between the following we have to write difference between workbook and worksheet so let's see what is workbook a spreadsheet file is used a spreadsheet file is called workbook which is like a notebook having many individual worksheet each worksheet data is organized vertically in columns and horizontally in rows by default workbook contains one worksheet 
by clicking on plus sign you can add more workbooks the row and columns in excel are collectively called worksheet each worksheet of excel 2016 typically has 16384 columns and 10,48,576 rows the next question question number f answer the following questions so there are three questions what is the use of microsoft excel microsoft excel is a powerful spreadsheet program that allows us to organize data and complete calculation in rows and columns this is the definition for microsoft excel question number two how do you save a workbook we can save our workbook to reduce it or share it with others by default excel workbook is saved in .xlsx file extension this is saved s a v e save in the .xl sx file extension question number 3 what is the purpose of generating a series and here is the answer autofill feature of excel is used to add duplicate entries or a data series to our worksheet cells we can create our own custom data list as well as use built-in list of common entries such as days of week months of the year and number series next question number G is about application based question you are making a spreadsheet in Excel the horizontal and vertical lines representing the rows and columns on the worksheet can be turned off but it is recommended by your teacher to leave them on tell the name of these lines so these lines are called grid lines which are horizontal and vertical lines so at the last one request please subscribe this channel for more videos for more exercise solutions of all the chapters of your class so thank you for watching the video and bye bye take care